Hey everyone, Eric here. Thanks for tuning in. I wanted to quickly make this video to introduce myself. My name is Eric Anthony Lopez. For those of you who don't know me, I am an undercover Mexican, believe it or not. I recently graduated from Cal Poly San Luis Obispo with a degree in political science, a concentration in law, as well as an entrepreneurship minor. Until last June, I really had my heart set on going to law school, earning my JD, and focusing on intellectual property. However, once I earned my bachelor's degree, I realized that there were so many things that I wanted to learn about, and I also started making money in my full-time position for a marketing technology company out in San Francisco. One of those topics that I was interested in learning more about that I hadn't really ever been taught was personal finance. I also really did not like the idea of going back to school for a few years, getting into loads of debt to do so, and then being essentially locked into that particular profession. So you may be asking yourself, okay, you graduated from Cal Poly, you earned your bachelor's degree in political science, which has nothing to do with personal finance, so why exactly should I be listening to you? Well, I have worked with individuals who have claimed that they love their jobs because sometimes they have to work for free. They would also tell me that they were simply trying to educate their potential clients on how to invest their money properly. The reality is that many of these financial advisors, gurus, or insurance agents who are claiming that they are giving out this information for free are really just trying to sell you something. So the reason why you should listen to me is one, I love helping people, I love personal finance, and I'm not trying to sell you anything. I have no incentive to give you false information and would never recommend a product that I have not used myself. I'm truly working for free here. The next thing you may ask is what exactly motivated you to start this channel? The reason that I decided to embark on this journey is due to the fact that there is a common need for financial literacy and planning in the market. Since I consider myself a millennial, although some may say that I am a Gen Z, I believe that we are hardly to blame for our lack of financial understanding. It is very rare to find states that mandate financial courses throughout our years in grade school. Unfortunately, our predecessors have determined that it is more important for students to learn how to memorize the Pythagorean theorem, learn how to write in cursive, or be able to translate Shakespearean English into the modern English language that we use today. No offense to those of you who are into that kind of thing. What we should have been taught is how to file our taxes, how to invest in the stock market, what different investment vehicles that we should be using, how to get a job or pick a career, or at the very least, the difference between a debit and a credit card. It may seem obvious, but I have heard some horror stories. I remember when I was going to high school, the only class that addressed some of these questions was a class on personal finance, but that course was considered to be an easy A and nobody really learned anything from it. Millennials are commonly referred to as the ninja generation, which is no income, no job, and no asset generation. My vision is to help struggling students facing a ridiculous and unethical amount of debt. The national student loan debt is $1.6 trillion as of 2020. Honestly, this is criminal and there absolutely needs to be reform in our education system. I would also love to help Gen Xs or baby boomers who didn't have access to the same information that my generation had with the emergence of the internet. The number one thing that I always hear from older generations is I wish I started sooner. It's never too late to start investing for your future. If you are interested in learning about basic financial concepts and how to invest your hard-earned cash, then look no further. There's a plethora of financial information that can be found across the web. The goal of this page is to deliver digestible, timely, and relevant content that simplifies even the most complex money topics. Want to learn more? Feel free to subscribe to my channel to join the Millipreneur community. We are just getting started here, so I am so excited to share with you some of my best practices and financial tips on how to jumpstart your journey to financial freedom. Trust me, you'll be glad that you did.